Hi everyone, welcome to Lorraine Corbanic Fitness. I am Lorraine and today we're going to do a nice quick yoga stretch right here in our office chairs. I know some of you are kind of locked into position for long hours at a time and barely have enough time to walk around whatever building you're in. So let's take five or 10 minutes here to do a couple quick stretches pretty much for the entire body. Let's start by getting to the end of our chair Feet are going to be flat on the floor, about hip distance apart. Just release those shoulders down away from the ears. And we're going to start with some nice deep breathing. Let's pair that breath with some chin lifts and lower. So as we inhale, we're going to lift our chin. And as we exhale, we're going to lower. Let's do this together, shall we? Big inhale through the nostrils, lifting the chin. And as you exhale, lowering the chin, nice and slow, use the full length of your breath until it drops down. And when you're ready to inhale, nice and slow again, just lifting the chin until you're looking right up to that ceiling. Exhale, slowly lower the chin, keeping the shoulders exactly where they are. Don't let them lift and lower yet. Feel that nice stretch in the back of the neck as you dip the chin down. And now once again, as we inhale and lift that chin, feel that throat open. Exhale, lower. This is the last one right here. And just remember, you can come back here at any time if you liked one particular thing. You can just repeat it later. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and turn the head. So taking the head and turning it to the right so that the chin is kind of over top of the shoulder holding here and experiencing that nice deep stretch on the opposite side once again just being cognizant that the shoulders and the arms and everything else is nice and soft let's go ahead and take another nice deep inhale breath slowly just turning the head bringing the chin over top of the left shoulder once again opening up the opposite side of the neck. Remember here, we're still sitting up nice and tall. Don't allow the body to collapse. I know as we get tired throughout the day, we just want to kind of sink down. But for the purpose of this stretch here, let's stay up nice and tall. Inhale back to center, shall we? Let's do a couple quick shoulder rolls here. As we inhale, we're going to draw the shoulders forward and then up towards the ears. As you exhale, bring the shoulder blades back and drop them down. Inhale, shoulders come forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Let's do one more in this direction, nice and slow. Inhale, forward. Lifting all the way up. Exhale, back and down. Let's go in the opposite direction. Inhale, the shoulders come back. Shoulder blades kissing one another and bringing it forward. Inhaling as you bring the shoulders forward and down. One more like that. Actually, no, let's do two more. Three in each direction. Let the hands go wherever they need to go as your arms kind of move along with the shoulders here. Really nice. Good job. Okay, so we're going to come into some side bends here. So let's just take our left hand, grab a hold of your chair. If you want to come back a little bit further into the chair, you can. And then from here, lifting that right arm up. Take a big inhale breath. Reach for the ceiling. And then as you exhale, dip it over to the side. And then just pause here. Feel that nice stretch along the side body. Now as you're stretching here, I'm going to drop my hand and bring it back to the center and just show you alternative. You can take the hand that's holding on, cross it across the body, hold on here. And then once again, inhale that arm up, dipping it over on the exhale breath. I like this way here. I just get a little deeper stretch. So just make sure here that the right sitting bone is still rooted down to the chair. You're just stretching up from the waist through the rib cage. Maybe you're turning the head, looking up past the elbows. Oh yeah, let's take a big inhale to sweep that arm all the way back down to the chair. Of course, we're gonna do the other side. So once again, either taking the right hand and holding onto the right side of your chair and inhaling that left arm up and exhaling over or cross body, hang onto the opposite side of the chair. And again, we inhale to lengthen and reach, find that space, and then exhale as you dip over. Good, make sure that shoulder that is underneath the ear on the right hand side is nice and soft. Oh, feel those intercostal muscles between the ribs stretching. Oh, this should feel so good. 
When you're ready, big inhale to sweep that arm back up. Exhale to drop it all the way back down. Good job. So on the first yoga for our desk or office class that I take, we didn't do a whole lot for the legs. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see here. Just starting nice and easy. Again, come to the end of your chair. Just make sure you're not going to fall off there. Make sure you're nice and stable. Feet again are still hip distance apart. We're gonna rock the feet back onto the heels, lifting the toes. Oh yeah, feel those calves. And then rocking them forward, coming up onto the toes. Yeah, a little heel lift. Beautiful, let's go ahead and rock back on the heels. Lift the toes. Yeah. And then rocking forward on the toes, coming up onto those tiptoes. My goodness, such a great stretch, particularly for the calves and the shins. Go ahead and let's do this one more time. Rock back on the heels. Inhale, lift those toes. Mm, so good, so good. And one last time, up onto those toes, lifting those heels. You might even want to take off your shoes for this part, who knows? Wonderful, go ahead and drop those heels. So let's do a hamstring stretch while we're here. Go ahead and extend one leg out in front of the other. I've got my right here, planting on the heel. I'm gonna flex into my foot. So pulling my toes back towards my face. And then from here, you could just stay in a nice tall seated position, feeling that stretch all along the back side of the leg. Or if you want a little more, let's go ahead and inhale as though you're lengthening up through the crown of the hand. And as you exhale, hinge forward at the waist, nice flat back here and start to come forward. Hands can do whatever they like, maybe following the line of the legs. Maybe you even want to reach down at the hands, grab a hold of the feet. That's optional, of course. Let's try to keep the back nice and flat, though we don't want to hunch into the shoulders, keep the chest lifted. I always say, let your heart lead. And once again, hand is optional here on the foot. Oh my goodness, such a good stretch for those calves. Feeling it a little bit, yeah, up into the hamstrings. Beautiful. Go ahead and release that foot. Inhale, rise back up. Let's switch legs. Extending the left leg here, planting on the heel, pulling the toes back towards the face. Just even feeling this is a magnificent. So again, if you're just staying in a seated position, keep pulling those toes back. If you're ready to lean forward, let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, hinge forward at the waist. Maybe follow the line of that leg with the hands. Maybe the hands find the foot. Maybe they don't. Chest leading. You're also going to feel this a little bit in the lower back, yeah? A little bit of two for one for you. Again, we're making sure that those shoulders stay nice and soft, away from the ears. No need to create tension where it doesn't need to be. I like to hold most stretches for at least 20 seconds. You'll find your way, whatever works best for you and feels. If you've got the time, do it for longer. Let's inhale, rise back up. Awesome. Okay, so we did um, seated pigeon during the last video, but my goodness, it's just so good for the legs. So let's just go ahead and do it um, this time as well. So picking up the right leg, crossing that right ankle over top of the left knee. And then from here, once again, we want to flex into that foot, just taking care of that knee here. You could just use the right hand on the right knee to press it down. Or once again, you might want to forward fold. So let's inhale to lengthen up. Exhale, hinge forward at the waist. So the chest is leaning forward over top of the shin. And my goodness, this is my sweet spot. I'm not going any further. My hip flexor is definitely feeling this. And our hip flexors, don't they just pay the price when we're sitting in a desk all day? They sure do. So let's go ahead and take care of these babies right now, midday, or wherever you are in your day today. Nice deep breaths here. Notice your breath. Inhale, let's lift up, lengthen. We're gonna plant that right foot. Let's take the left over the right. Flex into that foot. Once again, gentle version, just press the knee down with the hand. If you wanna go a little deeper, join me here. Big inhale, breath. Exhale to fold. Oh yeah. 
really deep, deep stretch. If it's too much for you, if you forward folded, it's a little too intense, back off a little bit. Listen to your body. Remember that our sides of our body are usually not the same. So really listen as you do one side, each side, really listen to your body. You might be saying, yeah, this side is, is way too tight to go that deep. Let's inhale as we rise up, taking that foot back down to the ground. That is our office or desk yoga for today. We've done our 10 minutes. Remember, you can come back at any time. And if you liked this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up, click sub sub subscribe, and if you don't wanna miss any of the videos, make sure you click that little icon with the alarm bell on it, and that way you'll always get notified of new videos. Be sure to do more yoga at home. I'd love you to try some of my fuller length videos. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.